Good morning everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Hey, are you looking to burn some body fat while sculpting your muscles? This really is the best kind of workout I know to do that. So we're gonna have some high intensity cardio elements like this. Followed by a sequence of strength building elements like this. You put it together for a 15 minute workout, boom, you are blasting calories, building muscle, burning body fat, it's gonna be fantastic. Here's your format. You got 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds to transition. Okay, we're gonna start with the cardio segment, then we'll move to strength, cardio, strength, cardio, like that. I'm gonna lead you on a quick warm up, but if you're all ready to go, you can jump to the number at the bottom of the screen and get started right now. You're going to require a variety of dumbbells in today's workout, so make sure that you have those handy with your water, your BCAs, and a towel. We're getting going, this is gonna be so fun. Okay, you ready to do it? To build some muscle, to move daily? Yeah, let's do it. placing feet shoulder width apart, reach down or squat down, reach up, just like that. Good, stretch up to the top, give yourself a nice big stretch there, that's it. Want to warm up shoulders a little bit, we'll be doing a little bit of upper body with that and a lot of jumping with those legs. Last one there, take it wide, this time I want you up on your tiptoes, flexing and stretching those calves out. Good, open in the chest as well here. Got it, five more. Nice and tall, three, two, last one here. All right, give me some shoulder circles, tap to the side, that's it. Let's get it all warmed and going. Switch directions. Oh, this feels good. I was sitting all morning editing videos, so it's nice to get moving, isn't it? All right, good, reach across here and here. Stretching that lat a little bit. You got it. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Go, and go back to that squat, overhead reach. Get low though, right below 90 degrees on the legs so you can warm up that glute. That's it. Five more. Last one here. All right, take it wide. Remember, up on your tiptoe this time. Go low and tiptoes for 10 here. <clears throat> Two more. Nine, big stretch. Good. All right, circles, tap. And switch your circle, and eight. Ooh, burn. All right, take it to the front here, and reach. Okay, let's add a little hop right here. Okay, we wanna get some blood flow going. Good, I want you to reach it up and over the head this time. You got it. How do I know you got it? Maybe you're sitting on my couch watching on your couch watching me right now. <laughs> That's a possibility. I know one lady was injured. She's like, I've been watching all your videos. I can't wait to do them. But she's just watching. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, this is a long workout. Let's jump into it. The first round's cardio, so she'll be ready to go. All right, this is getting repeated just once, so your first round, maybe if you're figuring things out, by the second round, you're gonna know exactly what you're doing. You're starting off with two high knees, okay, two squat jumps, that's your first combo. Get ready, let's do it right here. Up, up now, two squat jumps. All right, you can modify this by taking out the squat or the jump. All right, pretty easy. Good, let's go. This one is gonna fire our heart rates up this first 10 minutes, no doubt. But that's the name of the game, right? For fat blasting, good cardiovascular health, you wanna get that heart rate up, bring it down. Get it up, bring it down. 15 seconds here. You're gonna to move to some diagonal ice skaters next. 
They can be tricky, so you could do regular ice skaters if you wish. Okay, your choice. All right, good. I'm already ditching this. That is it. All right, diagonal ice skaters. I'm facing this way. I'm gonna go low, front, front, low. Get ready. Let's go, right here. Modify this with a low walk. Okay, no jump right there. Easy breezy. Otherwise, you're kicking it up. And low. Good. This always gets you right in the glute, this one. I like it. Fifteen seconds, come on. Get low. All right, we're gonna do some abductor squat jumps. You're gonna jump low, come up and click your heels together. Like you're like a leprechaun or something. Squat jump to modify, ready? Low, together, low, together, that's it. This one's gonna be hard. Move to regular squat if you need to take a breather. than I thought. Okay, moving to a burpee with four mountain climbers. So you climb down there at the bottom. Ready? So here we go. Burpee down. One, two, three, four. Up and jump. Let's go. into a skipping skip, kind of like if you had a rope. If you have a rope, you can use it. Whoa. This one will bring our heart rates down a bit. Here we go. Skipping skip. Good. That little abductor squad jump got my heart rate up for sure. Now we're gonna repeat this once. If you wanna take a break after these first five minutes, catch your breath, fine. If you need to, I wanna keep going with me, that's great too. All right. Whew, okay, round two. Starting with the two high knees, two squat jumps. Feels good, ready? Here we go. One, two, jump it here for two. Up, good, and jumps. Halfway up, up, good job. We've got the diagonal ice skaters next. Okay. 
regular ice skaters if you need. I like the diagonal. They're just fun. Hey, low. Take it back. Let's work here. Front, front. If you can't get this, don't worry. I have some clients who can't get it. And I've been working with them for years, so it's tricky. It's like rubbing your hat and patting your stomach at the same time, I guess. But if you get it, it's woohoo, fun, right? Sort of. Bordering on fun. Good, hello. 10 seconds. Okay, Whew. good, good. Moving to the abductor squat jump. Definitely the hardest here for me. <clears throat> Ready? Deep breath. Let's go. Low together. Finish off, then we'll move to a strength component. Here we go. Kick it up. Let's go. You can fake skip with your hands. Grab your rope if you have one. <clears throat> that was a good start, eh? Sure. Looks like that. Halfway. In four, three, two, and time. One break, join me for strength. So relatively high rep range with uh, this 45 seconds. You're gonna start with a plie, wide shoulder press right like that. So I've got my fives, I'll see how that goes round one. Ready, let's go. Low and press. Okay, you want wide, we want to put a little tension on that medial delt by subjecting it to gravity that would want to pull it down. Okay, you control. Good. <clears throat> Probably could have done a little heavier. See, I will next round. It's got to figure that stuff out. Good. You want to make it challenging, but you want to perform the full 45 seconds as well, okay? Good. We've got a lateral lunge to single side lateral raise coming up. 
Last one, and press. I'm gonna grab my 15 for that. <clears throat> so, side lunge here. Ulo, pop it up to lateral. I'll call halfway. Stay on the same side. Let's go, low, pop up, and reach those hips back for your lunge. Okay, nice straight arm for the lateral raise there, good. 15's heavy, I'm not gonna lie about that. Definitely work for that shoulder. Then I go a little slower, it's great. All right, switch sides, take a step, and lunge. Got squat thrusts next. Low and pop. Good. Last one. Okay. I'm gonna grab my eights for this. Whew. <clears throat> squat, single side press. So you're here, single side, alternating to shoulder presses. Here we go. Feet are shoulder width apart. Reach your hips back. When you look down, you should be able to see your toes. Good. <clears throat> Reach. The speed of this makes it very cardio-esque as well, doesn't it? Fifteen seconds. And push. Good. And time. Wow, that's work. All right, you're gonna move into some King Kongs. I'm gonna actually hold the same. Wide sumo position. You're squatting low, hammer curl, overhead press together. Let's go. Low, hammer, push, and low, and push. Good. My feet face front in the sumo squat. Okay, it's not the plie. Plie, toes are facing outward a little bit more. Knees are tracking over. Here you're reaching hips back. Okay, glutes, think glutes. Good. You're gonna go to a single leg deadlift. Bicep curl next. I'm grabbing a 15 for that. All right, good. Just one. I'll call halfway. It's so whatever hand I'm holding. The opposite hand, or the same leg, is what I'm standing on, okay? Ready, and hinge. So your hinge, stand, hammer. I'll bring that other knee to a high knee. And up. Balance is key here. And up. Low, good. Up. Let's pick a spot in front of you, switch legs, switch hands, and work. And stay focused on that spot, and work. We're taking it from the top with that plie wide press next. I'm gonna go to my eights there. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'll do 20 there on the next time. <clears throat> Good, you got it guys? Yeah, you do. Okay, both at the same time. Press wide, low. This is where your knees are tracking over the toes. Working abductors here, inner thigh. Okay, little shoulder as well. Low and controlled, out. Good. Halfway. Lateral lunge. Raise is next. Wow. This feels like work. Oh. 
last one. Up, oh, nice. Okay, whew. <clears throat> lateral lunge, lateral raise. Catch your breath, get ready. Take it this way, here we go. Lunge, reach your hips, pop. Hips and up, nice flat back. Last one here. All right, switch sides and lunge. Hips back and pop. Glad this one's only twice. This is hard with a 15. Good. Okay, squat thrusts. Did anyone else try the 15 on that? It was heavy, wasn't it? <clears throat> Single side, feet shoulder width apart. Low, and press, you got it. Up. Kongs are next. I'm gonna take my 15s for those because the deadlift's not too hard. So I can think, I think I can throw a harder one in. Reach back, push. Almost there. Last, here and up. Okay. <clears throat> Face front, shoulders back, tummy tight, King Kongs. So, squat, hammer, overhead, woo, that's heavier. A little slower. This is that muscle building where you can challenge yourself with the weight. seconds. That's doable. It's totally doable. Good. Oh, that was hard. Okay, I'm grabbing my 20 for this deadlift. So, single leg deadlift. Hammer. <clears throat> the leg you're standing on, that's the hand the weight is in. Here we go. Your hinge, stand, hammer, and hinge, and hammer. Is anyone kind of tippy canoe on this guy? It's hard. It does require balance. All right, switch sides and work. So jump back and then start your crisscross again. You got it. Twenty seconds left. Whew. 
stomach's jostling from the water. Too much. Oh, that's hard. Okay, rest for a second. So then moving into a broad jump, three jumps back. So big jump forward, three little jumps back. Ready? Here we go. So big, one, two, three, modified by a big squat, little shuffle back. Let's go. One, two, three. Get low. One, two, three. Squat quarter turn is next. Whew. Oh, hard. Okay, so you could squat, turn like this to modify. Otherwise, we're squat, jump quarter turn. It's gonna be hard. Here we go, low, turn, low. Switch, low, that's it. Front squat, little twist. Go, push. Little scissors are next. 15 seconds here. Get low, come on. Drop the glutes. Oh, that was hard. Okay, whoo, Hannah. Okay, scissors, boom, boom. All right next. Ready, let's go. I'm just gonna see if I've done everything here. Okay. Single side. Pogo hop is next. Good job here, come on. Fifteen seconds. Pogo hop's gonna be great for our calf development. Okay. And break. Single leg hop. You could do a little small single leg squat or squat up to tiptoe if you wanna modify that, okay? Otherwise we're hopping. Ready, let's go right here. Try to get up on that tiptoe, push, push, push. That's it. I'm gonna switch every 15 seconds, so I'll call when. Switch right now, go. All right, and switch again. Just eight seconds here. Last switch right here. Criss cross front squat is next. And rest. Okay, whew, from the top. <clears throat> Doing okay? Okay, good, me too. Criss cross front squat back. Let's go, here we go. Criss cross front, back, Criss cross front, back. Fifteen seconds, come on. Low. Okay, 
That's time. Woo. Okay. Broad jump. Three jumps back. Ready? Not really. Here we go. Low. One, two, three. And low. Scissors are next. Last one here. Oh. Okay, scissors coming up. Deep, slow, regular breath in through the nose, slow exhale. Try to bring your heart rate down. Okay, break longer if you need. Let's go right here. <clears throat> Halfway. Come on, you just got the pogo hop next and then a break. Let's go, let's go. Ba, ba, ba. Let's go, 10 seconds. Push. This is where you want to get that heart rate up, and then we'll bring it down. Okay, there's your time. Beep. It's lagging, I don't know why. The time was up though. Okay, I'm gonna do 10 seconds each side this time. Ready? And here we go. Then I'll split the last one up. All right, switch here. If you really push up your tiptoe, you'll get that calf action and not just a glute activation here. All right, switch. Switch. And switch. Two, three, four. And switch. Two, three, four. Good. Okay. Water break. Join me back for that second strike circuit. Let's start off with legs. We're gonna hit a goblet squat. I've grabbed my 20. You're gonna add a little pulse. So I'm holding it here. It's an ass to grass. So you wanna get low. Little pulse at the bottom. Drive through the heels. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. So it's low pulse and press. Okay? Good. So grab as heavy as you can. If you don't have any super heavy uh, dumbbells, you can always just hold two lighter ones up in a front hold position, okay? You want the weight in the front for this guy because we're focusing on glutes, okay? Think about your glutes pushing your body up and squeeze at the top. My glutes are sore from whatever I did yesterday. <laughs> I don't remember what that was, but zowie, I can feel them, good. Okay, coming up is gonna be an Arnold press wide to narrow with an ISO hold. So I'm gonna grab eights for that. Last one here, and up, very good. Okay, so, I've got my eights. Both weights are up, I come wide, I come narrow, alternating, okay? Oh, I need a break here. All right, both up, wide, turn, narrow, switch, wide, and narrow. You notice I'm only bringing elbow, not to 90 degrees, both in the front and on the side. Okay, and here, very good. Wide and press. So getting a little isometric hold at the top while the other arm is working makes it that no one gets a break here. But you only have 15 seconds, so we can do this. 
control. Good. All right, you've got a, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta look, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Fly to crossover, so I'm lying on my back. I'm gonna do a chest fly, turn at the top, crossover for triceps. Okay, I'll face this way so you can see. Turn, cross, press up. So you open, turn, cross and up. Open, open, turn, cross, press up. If you can't get this action, just do a chest fly. Okay, no sense in wasting the full 45 seconds trying to figure it out. But basically, you're gonna pick whatever weight you can try to cross over. It'll be less than you can fly, okay? And open. You're staying down here for a dumbbell plank pull next. 15 seconds. I'm gonna stick with my H for that. Cross, up and open. Really grab those arms on the fly. Want to hit that pectoral minor muscle and open here. Okay, good, excellent. Moving to the plank. <clears throat> so, plank position. From your knees to modify or toes, we're pulling the dumbbell across the front of the body. Here we go. And pull. Don't pull it too far. You have to be able to reach it without compromising neck muscles here. The name of the game is not to rock the hips either. So if you have to drop to knees, that's okay. Slow and controlled. Or lighter weight is fine too. Tricep kickback is next. Woo! Okay. I think I'll use eights for this too. Roll those shoulders back. You're gonna hinge at the waist, palms face the ceiling, and kick it back right like that. Ready. Hinge. Here we go. Up and slow. You are controlling it down. That's where you're gonna get the majority of the work here. Okay? Nice neutral neck. Look at the ground in front of you. No swinging at the bottom. Whew. These eights are heavy enough for me. Really feel that in my triceps. Wow, that was very tricep bonus, wasn't it? Okay, back to the top. Goblet. <sighs> In three, two, start. Pulse at the bottom, push. Halfway, don't lean forward, sit tall and push. Keep it all, should only shoulder width apart here. It's work, isn't it? Arnold is next. All right. Whew, I'm gonna stick with my eights here. <clears throat> Get out. All right, get him up. Singles down, side, turn, front, and side, and front. I'm really mindful that I'm not arching my back here. And I haven't overdone it on the weight here for me. I could go heavier, but I don't want to arch my back and I could feel that if I went heavier, I might do that, you know? 
Whoops, I just lost my, what I was doing. <laughs> Don't follow me, just listen, okay? Just kidding. Last one. Mama, sita, that's hard. Okay, down to your plank, uh, sorry, your chest fly crossover. <clears throat> Starting with that fly, rounded arms, cross as you come up. So open, open, turn and cross press up. Open, turn, cross and up. Your elbows need to be at a 90 degree when you cross them, okay? They're not, you're not bending your shoulder over your body. You're just bending the elbow to 90, okay? Shoulders should be stationary. Good job. Eight seconds, come on, push and open. Plank dumbbell pull is next. Open and, okay, good. <clears throat> Go into that plank. Oh, stretch it out if you need. You got six seconds. Oh, okay, here we go. And work. All right, if you guys watching The Bachelorette, um, <laughs> I know, like, I'm almost 50, and why do I watch it? Well, I got into it, you know, however many years ago. Was it 2015? I don't even know. Um, and now somehow I just, it's my guilty pleasure. I don't watch much other TV, but I do like that <laughs> somehow. I like seeing when people are authentic, actually. That's kinda, I really like dig it. And originally when uh, Hannah was chosen to be the bachelor, I'm like, oh no, does she have much to say? It was kinda like everyone else. Kinda wondering if she was ditzy, which I actually like her, to be honest. I think she's doing a great job, and she is not having a problem with her words at all. She's doing good, I think. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter, no. Hinge forward, ready, and up. Slow. But, yeah, I kind of just, what I'm sort of analyzing, and if, having been a therapist, this is what I, I kind of look for, people's ability to communicate uh, their own self-awareness, their um, ability for empathy. So, really, I'm doing psychology training when I watch it. <laughs> uh, just kidding, uh, but not really. I, I do look for those things and it's kind of interesting to see that in people. So, there you go, now you know. Almost there, girls, come on, keep pushing. Pull it up. One more, Ugh, good job, okay. You got one last cardio circuit. Let's kick it up, okay? Let's burn some calories here. Let's start with a jumping lunge, pulse, jumping lunge, pulse, squat, jumping lunge, pulse, jumping lunge, pulse, squat, okay? Reverse lunge to modify. Here we go. So jumping lunge, pulse, pulse, squat, and jumping lunge and jumping lunge, pulse, good, yes, burn, up, burn. Halfway. Oh, that burns like crazy. Someone asked me if I had any exercises in them that don't make the muscles burn. <laughs> I said no. Oh, there we go. That was hard. Okay. Four scissors, side shuffle. She asked that on a mini band video. I'm like, mini bands always make the muscles burn. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Stay low, let's go. Side lunges coming up. 
slow lunge, half I should say. Ten seconds here. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. Side lunge, hop. So here, hop, okay? Ready? I'll call halfway. And up. Reach up. Good. Up. <clears throat> Get low. Reach up to the back. Come on. Drive. And drive. Two more here. All right, switch sides. Yowza. Plank hop is next. Down and plank. You're gonna hop side to side. Okay, like a donkey kick. Good jump from side to side. This is gonna be hard. Ready? And here we go. Okay, travel, travel. And front, and back, side, and front, and back, side. Good job, starting at the top again. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, that jumping lunge. Ugh. Okay, we can do it. Bring that heart rate down. Modify if you need with the reverse lunge. And down, pulse, down, pulse, center. Down, pulse, pulse, center.
15 seconds. Side lunges next. Oh. Okay. Side lunge hop. Ready? Take your wide. Get back. Up. Drive the knee. Use the hands. Last one on this side. Wow, switch, low, up. Oh. Last one here. Oh, that's so hard. But you know what's harder is the next one with the dumb dumb plank hops. Okay, we can do it. Tuck your shirt in this time so you don't lose it, Trace. Okay, 45 seconds. That's it. Ready, here we go. Join me for a stretch if you can. Take it down here, let's do pigeon. Stretch those glutes out. Oh, Nelly. That was good, but hard. But I like the, the combo, although the, the, the weights didn't really bring the heart rate down too fast, did they? It was a bit of a reprieve, but it wasn't like total reprieve because of some of the moves. Switch sides. Um, that's good though. Hey, what do you guys think? Can you let me know in the comments below what you thought? Um, especially if you've done it. Give me some feedback, sisters. And the occasional boy. Hi, how are you? You coming to stretch too? That's a good stretch, dog. A good stretch indeed. Oh yeah, sister. That was hard, Max. It was hard for us, all of us. You did nothing but lie down upstairs, so don't even pretend. Okay, bring your arm or your leg across here. Let's stretch into that glute and maybe even a little torso turn here. So I had this nutritionist come to my house yesterday and um, we filmed, we did a little collaboration uh, and talked about the emotional connection that we have to eating. I'm really excited to share with you the content because at the end of the day, it's completely what I'm about. Um, I would never just tell anyone to go on a diet, like unless there was 
certain dietary restrictions, intolerances, um, and reasons for going on specific restrictive diets. I just, I can't live like that. Um, and most people can't live like that for the long haul, which is what I'm about. Let's do something, let's find a way of eating, bring it here, or switch your relationship with food so that you can sustain it for the long haul. That's ultimately the goal. And, and to be an intuitive eater, to, to actually enjoy this relationship with food and not hate yourself after you eat certain foods. She said something that I thought was really great. She's like, food isn't good or bad. It's not like there's evil food and angelic food, right? Sure, some foods are not great for the body, but it doesn't have those stamps. Like you can't deem it as such. Um, but it's, it's our connection to it. Let's stretch the legs out here, right? Because if we're in a really good headspace and we love ourselves and we love our bodies and we're moving towards health, we can have an ice cream cone and it would, it was great. I enjoy it. I enjoyed every morsel. It was fun. It was delicious. But if you're not in a good space, let's take a twist here and you're trying to diet, you're trying to restrict, and then you have one, all of a sudden it's all this guilt and shame and anger towards self and um, and that just does not improve our relationship with food on any level because now we have all these negative connotations and thoughts. Anyway, I'm going to be releasing some of that content soon and I implore you, if you struggle with your relationship with food or with even, you know, trying to lose 10, 20, 50, 75, 100 pounds, reach up and over, then maybe taking a look at, at developing um, a different connection with food and our emotional connection with food for the long haul is worthwhile. So um, I, yeah, that's gonna come out. Well, it might be already out already, but anyway, I'll, I'll link it at the end here and, uh, and you can take a look at that, okay? Good, oh my. Round through the back. That is good. I feel good and sweaty and I'm happy that I did it and I'm happy that you joined me. So thank you. Remember if you like these videos, feel free to share. Um, I, I put this content out for you guys because I want to help you move forward in your life. And a lot of people go, I can't believe I haven't found you earlier. Like, how do you, how do you find things on YouTube? It's hard, like unless the video does well, it's it doesn't really go around very often and it's kind, kind of luck of the draw sometimes if you come across certain ones, isn't it? Anyway, feel free to share, like, comment, that helps in the YouTube algorithm. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Click there for that nutrition video and if you want to work up for tomorrow, click right there.